Maryland's a good team. Uh, they've, they've blown out the first two teams they played. Um, I think they're well coached uh, on both sides of the ball. Uh, really good on special teams too, so we need to make sure we're ready for that challenge. Uh, but anytime you got a Big Ten team coming in here, um, we got to prepare well. And, and I, I know our kids will be ready for that challenge. Our offensive line is doing a great job, and our quarterbacks are doing a great job sitting in the pocket and getting the um, passes off to the receivers and, uh, and the running backs and so forth. But um, coming off that game, uh, we look we look pretty good on offense as a whole, but we all also have things we can get better at as a whole on the offense side of the ball. I, I think anytime you see a really good team and how they execute, I think you learn a little bit. Um, you know, I, we're young on offense. We have a, a junior left tackle and a sophomore left guard and a f true freshman right guard and a sophomore right tackle and sophomore and freshman receivers for the most part and a couple young running backs. Um, it, it takes a while, and those guys are getting better all the time. We executed better in that game than we did in the first game, and I expect that improvement to continue. I think everybody's starting to trust each other. The thing is, it's just uh, communication. We have to learn to communicate better. And once the communication falls into place, I think we'll be, we'll be there.